Remember when going to school meant learning how to think, not what to think? Well, those days are long gone. The Minnesota Department of Education announced what is basically an extremist boot camp disguised as social studies. Well, even social studies is an invention of the progressives, but you'll have to watch Miseducation of America to learn more about that. Elementary aged students, kids, will be taught about the consequences of Minnesota's justice system, police reform, and the roots of systems of oppression. Catherine Kirsten writes in a column in the Minneapolis Star Tribune, and I quote, Minnesota's new ethnic studies standards will drill three ideological tenets into kids' heads, that their skin color determines their identity, that life is a zero-sum power struggle between race-based oppressor and victim groups, and that American history is a shameful story of domination, marginalization, and injustice. Catherine Kirsten, the author of that piece and senior fellow at the Center of the American Experiment, joins us now. Catherine, thank you so much for being here. Uh, And you're featured in Miseducation of America. You'll be at our summit on Thursday. I can't wait for folks to hear more from you. But this column really hit me. Minnesota is changing its standards into what? Well, uh, this is a uh, new set of standards that will inject the toxic ideology of ethnic studies. And what that means is that ideology will replace the basic factual knowledge that kids need to be informed citizens and enlist them in, uh, as foot soldiers in an extremist political crusade. So it's, it's activism. It's activism. What types of things will they be pushing for? And these are not high schoolers or college kids. These are third, fourth, and fifth graders. Right. Uh, one of the new... Uh, ideas that kids will be forced to ingest is uh, the anti-policing benchmarks in these standards. Uh, So this is taught under the new ethnic studies standards titled resistance, resist America's fundamental social and political institutions. So fifth graders uh, will study the alleged roots of contemporary policing in uh, early America. What does that mean? Well, the idea is that kids will be taught that Policing uh, grew directly out of the slave patrols of the Old South. Uh, Sixth graders will study the juvenile justice system and the way that it has allegedly unfairly targeted disenfranchised uh, groups. High schoolers are going to study the social construction of criminality, which means that the idea of criminality was made up to be used as a tool of racial oppression against kids. And of course, the result is that a lot of kids are going to think that policing and the justice system are racist and therefore must be resisted. It's a toxic ideology, very destructive. Wow. Minnesota statewide standards. Uh, Kathy, I have to say, you've been ahead of this for for years. You've been talking about what's happening in our schools. Grateful that you're in our special and that I will see you in Richmond at 9 a.m. on Thursday morning for the Miseducation of America Summit. Kathy Kirsten, thank you so much.